slow on that uh, F sharp chord. Let me do it again. That better. So this is the uh, great George Harrison solo on Till There Was You which was a song from The Music Man, uh, a little bit like Radiohead doing something from Cats, but things were different back then. Uh, it was in the Beatles repertoire dating back to uh, Hamburg, so um, very famous song. They made it famous, uh, or famous again, I should say. Anyway, George's solo is um, pretty awesome and pretty unlike any other solo he ever did with the Beatles. Um, so the first part of the solo... Notice on videos that George does it up here somewhere. It's a lot easier for me, at least down here. Same notes. Um, so think of it. Here's an F chord. If you put your pinky on G3, you're going to get a F sus. If you put your pinky on B3, you'll get an F6. So those are the notes that are in this. Also, if you go, if you take your G off get an F9. But anyway, those are all the different places where within the F chord you can do this first part of the solo. Watch. It's basically an F chord that doesn't have to move. When I play it, I don't want to play it like an F chord, um, like keeping my fingers locked in. I'm going to move them around a little bit more like a solo style. So, And that way I don't have notes sustaining that I don't want sustained. If you play with an accord, you can hear those notes ringing in. If you play more like lead solo where you're doing one fingering at a time, you'll have fewer notes ringing and more of the solo itself. So, so we're going to start with the A note, which is the Do, Re, Mi, the major third of the F chord. So that's under your middle finger, second fret, second fret G. Go up to the third fret, pick up the C note at B1 and the F note at E1. So basically just walking up the chord and then go to the sixth note at 3B, back to B1, G3, G2, G open, and then F at D3. So basically going up the F chord and back. Okay, and then so this is where you go, go up to D4. We're going to go to D4, G2, slide from 4 to 5 on G. Middle finger uh, picks up the finger picks up the note that it wants to, right there at B, index picks up B3, and then back to G5, G3, G2, G2, so it's, right, so, beautiful, isn't it, and then this, this weird little section of G minor, and B, uh, B flat minor, so it goes. Bar the top three strings, and then with your ring finger, we're gonna do a hammer on and a full strum. So we're hammering on the G string, we're letting the whole chord ring, so. And then when we go up to B flat minor, we're gonna take both our ring finger and our pinky at the G and the E string, and, and we're gonna go. Okay, so all right, and then we're back.
back to back here to F6. That's basically grab um, A string, eighth fret, hit that, and then lay your ring finger down in a bar across the remaining four strings. That'll give you an F6. Right? And then um, we're gonna do C sixth, B sixth. B flat six. So it's basically this shape here. It's kind of like a, let me see. It's like an F, do an F shape chord and add your pinky at the, uh, on the B string. So we go F six and then, so that's just chromatic right there. And then the greatest chord in the whole solo. <laughs> I'll find out the name of that chord later, but. So, second fret, low E, fourth fret, A, and then have your pinky cover five B and E. And then back to the F where we started. And just go from the E string to the B string to the G string. You strum it and then strum it once and then hit those notes once. And then the very end is a series of step and a half so so you're starting it at a with your ring finger fifth fret low e go up to third fret a and then move this shape this step and a half right it's a it's um three steps up so take that shape and move it to the A string one fret up. The A and D string one fret up. Move that one string over and one fret up. So here's the system. Okay and then the last two notes just pick up your ring finger right where it wants to go on the B string and then I'm sorry your middle finger and then your ring finger right where it wants to go on the G string. So. So here we go. Thanks for watching my guitar lesson video. If you'd like to hear some of my music, including my new album, This Is The One, please go to ParthenonHuxley.com. Thanks.